Asurimi Ikotolo as the winner of just concluded primaries. With the race for who becomes the flag bearer of the People's Democratic Party PDP finally over, the race and agitation for who becomes the deputy governorship candidate of the People's Democratic Party as the next phase. With some sections of the social media agog, with the support for their preferred individual, a leader of PDP in Ovia Northeast local government area, Honorable Nosa Victor Morigay, has come out to plead with the leadership of the PDP to consider Ovia Federal constituency when nominating a deputy governorship candidate saying that the local government has been marginalized for years and the local government formed part of the old local government councils when local government administration was formed. Honorable Nosa Victor Omorege, who is the leader of Ovia Northeast media team of the PDP, said, For there to be fairness and equity, Ovia deserves to produce the next deputy governor of the state ahead of the September 21st governorship election. As you must have seen or recent, the social media is flooded with what appears to be a sponsored promotion of an individual from a particular area of Edo South. You know, suggesting that perhaps some people have uh, made up their mind that uh, they are going to that local government to pick a candidate. The people of Ovia North East Federal Constituency is not comfortable with what we are seeing and observing. Uh, we therefore wish to draw the attention of the party to this fact, which is not comfortable to all of us as of your people. Honorable Nosa Victor Omorege Folder said that former Governor of Edo State Chief Loki Ibinadion could be said to be elected under the Oredo as a former chairman of the local government before the democratic rule returned to Nigeria. This time around, the point must be made that the deputy governor chief position must come to Ovia. Chief Loki Ibinadion, His Excellency, took over after the military interregnum in 1999 as the chief executive of the state the governor of the state also from Oredo yes people will say he's an Ovia man no he did not become a governor on the basis of Ovia slot it was because he was in Oredo he was in Oredo as local government chairman for eight eight years he became governor in Oredo local government for another eight years Honorable Nusa Victor Morigo Folder stated that it is time for PDP to also consider the number of votes from the 2020 election, where Ovia North East alone gave the party a very huge chunk of the vote compared to some other local government areas. Opebolo had produced governor twice. And I believe that was the consideration that was given to uh, Dr. Iswen, who is from Agba, uh, Basilu on Dr. Iswen Iwoda will stand. But on Deputy Governor from Ovia Federal Constituency, he demand. This is the time around that we are not ready to work without adequate recognition. But we wish that uh, uh, the party leadership will look at these facts seriously and ensure that Ovia Northeast is giving fair consideration in this coming dispensation. The governorship election is scheduled to hold September 21st, 2024. Tosin to Luwa Loju, reporting for BTV News.